Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to enhance AccuRig's rigging results for common shoulder issues and how to deal with unconventional accessories. If you're not yet familiar with AccuRig, you'll want to first check out our Getting Started tutorial for the basics. Okay, in our first scenario, we're going to take a look at how to refine the shoulder results when doing auto rigging. In this example, you can see that the angle of our character's shoulders is slightly different than the ideal one presented in the reference image. To see how this affects the results, let's just quickly go through all of the other steps and finalize. You'll see when we put our character into a regular standing pose that the shoulders are way too slouched, so let's take a step back and fix the issue. First step is to click on the body rig button on the left which allows you to refine the previously placed markers. Here we want to move the markers for both the clavicle and humerus joints slightly upwards. This will ultimately place the shoulder joints higher on the mesh and as a result the shoulders will end up in a healthier looking position. You can see how different marker placements will affect the shoulder positions of the same character in this reference image. You can place your shoulder markers according to your preference to get these results. If you want to save your current settings before adjusting in case you want to go back, you can simply go up to Save Accurate Data from the file menu at the top. This will save your settings as an INI file that you can load back up at any time. Ok, let's look at a slightly different scenario next with this character in a suit. You can see the shoulders are a bit messed up here, so let's follow the same process, only this time I'm going to move the clavicle and humerus joint markers further up. It's ok if the part of the joint marker is outside the body, what's most important is that the white point in the middle of the marker is on the body mesh, as these white points are used to generate the skeleton. Click on the Check Animation button to generate the skeleton and preview the result. We can also use the Pose Offset feature to adjust the shoulders as well. You can select a specific body part and use the X, Y and Z slider values below to adjust and refine the position according to your preference. Again, be aware that the pose you're trying to match is the one you've selected in the top right. You can now see here that we've slightly improved the default posture of our character. In this next case, we're going to look at a character that has accessories as part of their mesh and how we can refine the movement results. I'm going to start off by once again moving the markers for the shoulder and clavicle up, as well as the marker for the neck, since the headphones in this case are around her lower neck. Don't worry if the markers are overlapping, again, it's essentially where the little white dot is that matters. In this case, we want it to be above the headphones to avoid them moving along with the head. I also want to ensure that the placement is correct from the side as well, so I can rotate the camera and quickly adjust the markers from that view as well. In this case, I'm turning off midpoint placement to ensure that I can move them freely. After that's taken care of, I can continue through the next steps and use those same pose offset sliders, this time for the head, to test out the results. By placing the neck marker slightly higher above the headphones, we've avoided any distortion that might occur to the accessories when the head is rotated or moved in certain ways. In our final example, let's look at an unconventional character model that has exaggerated and uncommon features, and how the midpoint placement feature can help with the correct marker placement. I'm going to use this Minotaur model, which has some fairly non-human features that are tricky for correct auto placement of the markers. Let's start with the legs. You can see that if I try to drag the knee marker out for a bit more accurate placement, it will end up being placed between the two legs, as we can see when rotating to a different view. When marking joints from a side view, the markers will be placed between the legs, as they are layered one on top of the other from that particular view. To remedy this, you can switch to front part mode and repeat the process. When I place the marker this time, it will now be placed at the midpoint of the front limb from camera view which in this case is the character's left leg. You can also enable the symmetry option to move left and right joint markers simultaneously. If I do that, you can see that I can place the markers more quickly and easily from any camera angle. Next, you can see that our character's left arm has an accessory on it, which can often complicate the automatic placement of the markers. If we place it using front part mode from the front, the marker will be placed on top of the accessory. To fix that, we can select Whole Mesh Mode, and when we try again, it will be placed properly in the middle of the forearm. I'll speed through and refine a couple of the other joint markers here, and then we'll look at the head, which is definitely different from your typical human head. 
which is confirmed by the strange automatic placement of the neck and head markers initially. In this case, we can't really rely on the reference image, so let's divide it into two parts. The red area shown here represents the character's head, while the green area represents the neck. The character's head is basically in front of the neck, so we can place the respective head and neck markers almost side by side. After that, we can double check to ensure that the hand markers are all correct as well. If your Minotaur has hoofs, then you can refer to our hand mapping tutorial for details on how to correctly assign them. That's the whole process. You can check your character's results with some of the test animations available to ensure that you have the result that you want. Although Accurig is an auto-rigging tool, you can also use it to generate proper skeletons for different character types by adjusting the joint markers. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.